this is big news. Now the real work begins. I don't know if you can see this. This is the fun that is about to come our way. All those different parts slide together. Rebar and mortar to form a 63 inch fireplace. Exciting news today, the fireplace finally showed up. So now I can work on getting the insert. But first, we need to put a pad down using these cinder blocks to elevate it up about 12 inches. Fortunately, cinder block that's 12 inches and a four inch thick cinder block get us exactly what we need. Now here's where I'm gonna cheat a little bit. We had originally talked about using mortar, like conventional masonry to put this together. I think we're gonna glue it. Now I'm sure several of you will have very strong opinions about whether or not this is the right thing to do. But there's next to no heat, it's not going anywhere, we should be more than enough strength just to hold this together. I even contemplated doing nothing. But we're gonna use some of this Loctite landscape adhesive that's designed to glue garden wall together. And we're gonna use it to hold these pavers down and hold these pavers together. There'll be certain pockets that are full because we need to have rebar that goes through the entire, the entire system to hold the walls together. Um, and those will get buried and glued into solid four inch concrete blocks. So come along with us. pretty quick again we just need this foundation to be solid it's not going anywhere there's no real motion on it uh, so we got everything laid down and glued up it's exactly the height that we want the front is very very close I think we might have to cheat things out about a quarter to a half an inch but that should not be a problem um, it's I put a level on it it's very close to level um, but there's a mortar bed that goes down that the base of the fireplace sits in so we'll be able to fine-tune anything with that to make sure that everything is rock solid and very level. Blocks are laid, the adhesive dried up just fine. We've laid the three base plates out on the, the cinder blocks that we laid yesterday. What I need to do now is mark, transfer mark all of these holes. We have to drill in there and have rebar come up through them to help hold the sides and the back in place. And the easiest way that I can think of to transfer it is to take a little spray paint. So we'll spray paint each one of those holes, then we'll know exactly where we need to drill a hole to embed the uh, rebar.
start here in the homestead. The fog hasn't burned off yet, so we're looking to uh, get this fireplace put up today. Um, get the sidewalls in the back on here early this morning. We got a few things that we got to go and get. Um, I think some rebar fell out during shipping. So we'll have to go to the supply store and pick up some of those. So come along with us. The firebox that we chose to go with was a Mason Light 63 inch firebox. We affectionately referred to it as concrete Legos. What you're seeing on the screen is the assembly of the side and the back walls. Essentially the process is to wet down the surfaces and apply mortar using a grout bag, much like you do with a cake or frosting a cookie. You then, using the rebar as a guide in the previous layer, stack the blocks on top of each other to build the firebox vertically. than I expected. We've been able to move through things. Everything's real square and, and true and where we need to have it. The moment of truth is coming up. There's still no cap. It's the biggest piece of concrete and it's got a big hole in the middle of it. So it's the most fragile. So we got to figure out how two people get that cap up there. Let's hope we don't break it.
place up, but while we still have all the trowels and the mortar and everything out, I want to put the adapter for the chimney in. This is a 16 inch double wall adapter and it's held on with four concrete screws, but I feel like if you can mortar it in, it'll be way more airtight. Um, so while we're, you know, before we clean everything up, while we're still a little messy out here, we'll take the last little bit of mortar that we have, seal up around the edges, anchor this in, and then we'll be good to go to start the chimney tomorrow. how to get this through that 